Now we're going to cut V-grooves. A V-groove is a surface cut right through the top of the map board into its middle. So if it's a black core map board as this one is, you can see the black accent through it. It makes a very nice mat, and it makes a single mat look like a double. It's a nice accent. Here's one with three V-grooves on it. Now, ordinarily, this would be very difficult for a framer to do, but it's much easier now with this type of V-groover. Let me show you how this works. This is the Logan V-groover, and we're going to be using this, and you'll find out how easy it is to use. This is the same principle as our other cutters that has the two clips that will clip onto our guide rail, and it has two arms here, and these arms, when pushed down, will push a blade out the bottom and it's calibrated to just cut the surface of the mat board. So we can take off that little decorative paper and show the inner part of it. I'm going to, it has two blades, by the way, in here, so when we use it, you're going to use one handle one way and one the other. Let me show you how that's done. We'll hook this on here. I've got a top guide here that we're going to have to set. Now I'm going to set this side mat guide here for two inches. I've actually already set that for two inches. Then I'm going to take this top guide, and I'm going to set that for two inches. As you can see, I've got that done, the little red arrow there. And I'm going to put this down, and it has a clip. Let me show you this clip, same deal. Clip. Also, this little piece right here is very important, because this is going to stop the mat board, hold it into position for us. And this will stop our cutter. Now, it has a nice little screw to hook it on here with. And we'll get it into position. I've got a dark blue mat board in here because it'll show the V-groove very nicely. Well, going to position my two inches there. Loosen that by mistake. The little red handle one is the one that holds our top guide in place. Now at the bottom, I'm going to use this bottom stop, real simple stop. You get two of these with this cutter. And we'll put this in here and set that for two inches. So I've got two inches at the bottom, two inches at the top, and two inches on my side mat guide. Now, because this cutter is offset by just a half of an inch, you get two spacer bars with you. And you put the two sta spacer bars in here, and the purpose of that is to keep your board from touching right up against the mat guide, because we need to compensate for this half inch offset of this cutting unit. So let's clean off our mat board set the, uh, the V-groover right down here at the bottom. Got the V-groover set down here at the bottom, touching your bottom stop. I'm going to push down on this handle, on the first one here. The arrow is pointing that way, which means that's the way I'm going to travel. Now, when you push down, you're in the board. You're just taking off the top surface, and this will stop up here. Don't slam it up there. Go nice and slow. Lift this up, push this one down, the arrow is pointing towards you. Bring it back. It's as simple as that. Now we have cut one side. See the little, see that? OK. Now we're going to flip it over completely to the opposite side. Put it in place. Push down on this lever. Push this away from you up to the bar. Let go. Push down on the opposite lever. See, the other blade goes in, and it faces. See, these two blades face each other. Make sure you lift it up, or else you'll keep the blade stuck in there. Now you're going to reset this to cut at a lower position. Oop, make sure my little spacers are still in there. Lift your red little lever there and put it back in place. Now it's still at 2 inches, still at 2 inches here and there as well. So we're all cutting the same distance. Push down and push this away from you. Stop at the bar. Lift up, push this one down, bring it back. Now you can see the little pieces starting to come up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, if we do this fourth side, we will have a V-groove on all four sides, and you'd have something that looks just like this. It's a great technique and will enhance any mat.